And my name is George Turner and I work for the Tax Justice Network and we recently completed a study uh, which looked at the amount of finances which are flowing into the UK's professional football leagues um, from offshore financial jurisdictions and many of which are tax havens or secrecy jurisdictions. So what we did is we looked at the around 130 clubs that are in um, both the English and Scottish professional football leagues from the top premiership divisions down to the bottom of the football leagues. Um, and we went through the annual returns of each of them which showed us uh, who owned the club. Um, and where we found that there was a significant uh, tax haven element, so where we found a company which was registered abroad, um, we included that in our league. Um, we weren't interested in looking at foreign people. Um, if people were looking, had owned the club in their own name and they happened to be foreigners, that wasn't of interest to us. It was really just um, corporate entities, uh, the vast majority of which are shell companies um, based offshore. We then proceeded to look at how much money was coming into those clubs from those places. So um, we looked at the amount of shareholdings that that company owned, often very little because clubs aren't worth very much as entities. Um, they often have huge debts and are losing money as an operation. Um, and possibly more importantly, loans. So we looked at the loans that were made by these offshore entities that were linked to the clubs uh, into those clubs. So you take a club like Bolton Wanderers, for example. Um, they have 150 odd million pounds. I forget the exact figure, but it's a, that order that's been loaned to them by a company called Moonshift Investments, uh, which we believe to be based in the British Virgin Islands. It's certainly not a UK company. There's no record of it here. Uh, there's not really a public record of it anywhere because the BVIs don't publish um, records freely. Um, so for Bolton fans, you know, they have, uh, they're completely dependent on vast amounts of money that they probably can't hope to pay back anytime soon from a mysterious company of which nobody knows anything about. And they have to think about whether that's actually an acceptable uh, state of affairs from them. In total, when we calculated the entire league, uh, we found that there's around £3 billion of finance in the football leagues. Um, and uh, it's around 34 clubs, so one in four UK football clubs, and it was about one in three for the English clubs, um, have some sort of significant offshore ownership, which shows that offshore companies uh, are now um, prevalent in the financing of football, as they are in the rest of the economy.